If you told me this time last year that this year I'd be spending 90% of my gaming time on an Xbox One, I'd have said you were crazy. I had the choice of an Xbox or a PlayStation 4 three years ago when I went next gen, and after time with both, I chose PlayStation. The PlayStation 4 was more powerful. It had better graphics, a better user interface, and a more extensive game library. I was really happy with my choice, with PlayStation getting all the best exclusives and only the prospect of backwards compatibility of older 360 games giving the Xbox One any appeal. But then again, how often would I play that sort of game? Everything changed with the time exclusive console release of PUBG Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on Xbox. I borrowed my son's Xbox One and have enjoyed playing this game immensely. In my opinion, PUBG is the greatest shooter of this generation and perhaps one of the best games ever made. Then recently we've had State of Decay 2, a totally Xbox console exclusive, and it's hard to describe how brilliant this zombie survival simulator is. But suffice to say that it draws my time as much as the amazing player in those battlegrounds. Backwards compatibility has really taken off as well, with hundreds of titles now available, and they're fully working downloads, not a paid for streaming service. Just find one of your old Xbox 360 discs, pop it in your Xbox One, the Xbox will download the compatible file, and you can start playing. So for me, now the Xbox One is the must-own console for shooter fans. Player Knows Battlegrounds simply has no peers, and State of Decay 2 is brilliant as well. If you'd ask me which console to buy, it's Xbox One all the way. PlayStation can keep its God of War, its Horizon Zero Dawn and Last of Us. Xbox has PUBG and State of Decay 2, which are much better for shooter and zombie fans. There is a caveat to this, and with E3 approaching in a couple of weeks time, I think we could see an important announcement about whether PUBG will be coming to PlayStation 4, or whether it will be staying long term with Microsoft and Xbox. I feel that either PUBG will be shown on the Sony stage or Microsoft will announce a complete console exclusive tying PUBG to Xbox and PC for this generation of machines and perhaps for the future of the franchise. Now, the elephant in the room is of course the Xbox One X. An overpriced monster that is as powerful as it is expensive. But if, as I think, Microsoft at E3 announced that PUBG will be theirs, I think we'll see a price cut in this flagship machine. This then becomes very tempting because then all the games we love, and especially the upcoming Battlefield 5, will be running the best and looking the best on the top Xbox console. And I think that might just tempt me to buy it and lots of other people as well. Xbox One, now a must own console. Okay, that's enough from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed it, press subscribe. If you want to see more of the same, obviously press like as well. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.